What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Solving equations of the quadratic type is really a shortcut for solving um, higher power equations that kind of resemble quadratic equations. So before we go through how to solve these higher power versions, let's review how to solve an actual quadratic equation. So u squared minus 3u plus 2 equals 0. That's the standard form of a quadratic equation. Um, whenever I have one of those, uh, the, I have four methods for solving quadratic equations. The first method I would try is factoring. I would, after factoring doesn't work, I would try to isolate a perfect square. Um, if I can't do that, then I would try either completing the square or using the quadratic formula. Looking at this quadratic equation, um, it actually does factor to this. And then using the zero product property, the only time I have multiplication of two terms equaling zero is when either of those two terms are zero. So either the first term is zero, which happens when u is equal to two, or the second term is zero, which happens when u is equal to one. So this is a standard quadratic equation we've seen from algebra one up until our course now in Algebra 2. So how is this going to help us solve higher power equations? Well, let's look at a higher power equation that's of quadratic type. Now we're gonna go through this one and then we're gonna talk about um, exactly what the quadratic type is and how to recognize the quadratic type. So first, I'm gonna point out that this equation is very, very similar to the one we just solved. If you notice, the x to the fourth is acting a lot like the u squared and the x squared is acting a lot like the u. So in this case, if I said that u was equal to x squared, these two equations would actually be exactly the same. So I can think of the x squared kind of like the u, and then x squared squared is x to the fourth, which is where this u squared is coming from. So this should factor a lot like this equation. So first, if I think about the x squared in the position of the u, here's the u squared minus three times the u plus two. So it should factor in much the same way that u did. So that I get u minus two, and u in this case is x squared, and u minus one, and again, x squared minus one. So that I get that x squared is equal to two, and x squared is equal to one, a lot like the solutions from here. However, I haven't solved this for x yet, so what I'm gonna do is take square roots of both sides, and remember that when I take square roots, I have to account for um, plus and minus. So what I've really done is take the square roots of each side of this equation, square root of this and the square root of this, again, counting for both the positive and negative solutions when I do that. So I end up with the plus or minus the square root of two and the square root of one is just one, so I end up with plus or minus one. So I actually end up with four solutions, which when I write them in my solution set would look a lot like this. So what is actually happening in this solving process? Well, something that looks like the quadratic type is basically anything that kind of looks like a quadratic equation. And if you can think of um, that variable squared uh, to help identify it, um, notice that this is really u to the first, and this is u squared. So anytime you have a variable which is double in the exponent of the middle exponent, so it's a trinomial that has an exponent that's double the exponent of the middle term, it's what's called quadratic type. And you can actually do it by actually substituting the variable. If I thought of u equaling x squared, and I did that replacement, I could have solved this equation for u and then resubstituted for x squared. So that's actually how we're going to go about solving it um, in the second example. 4x to the fourth minus 65x squared plus 16. So again, this is of quadratic type. How do I know? Well, I have a variable 2, and 4 is double 2. So since this exponent is double this exponent, and it's a trinomial, this is of quadratic type. So I can solve it a lot like a quadratic equation. First, I'm gonna notice that I'm gonna think of u as x squared. Why am I gonna think of that? Well, that would make this variable in the middle just u. And since if I square both sides of this, x squared squared is x to the fourth, this is really just u squared. x to the fourth would just be u squared. So I can think of this entire equation in this equivalent way, using what's called a variable substitution. Variable substitution. So what I've done is I've substituted this new variable u that I've introduced into this equation so that it looks like something I already know how to solve. 
Now when I go about solving things like this, um, I'm looking for something which multiplies to 4 times 16, which is 64, and adds to negative 65, so that would be negative 1 and negative 64, and then using either the AC method or um, the three bridge method, I could factor that to this. But recall that my original question was not in terms of this U that I introduced, it was in terms of X's. So once I've helped myself understand how to factor this using this variable substitution, and I've now factored it out, I'm going to substitute back in my X variable. So U was equal to X squared, that was that substitution I did, so I've resubstituted my original variable back in. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation like I would any other, um, using the zero product property either 4x squared minus 1 equals 0 or x squared minus 16 equals 0. So if I subtract 1 from both sides, square root and then divide by 2, um, I'll get a plus or minus a half from this one. And if I sub add 16 to both sides, uh, square root, uh, I'll get plus or minus 4. So my final solution set is x is equal to plus or minus a half from this solution or plus or minus 4 from this solution. So this quadratic type and variable substitution process gives me a way of taking these higher power equations, transforming them into something that I already know how to solve, helping me to uh, simplify it out, and then I can substitute back in and solve my original equation. So it's a kind of a shortcut method for getting me to my final answer. We'll look at more of these um, examples in class tomorrow of various uh, different types. Um, it's actually, you'll see how helpful this process can be the more complicated the expression looks. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me.